Hello, I'm Harvey Godwin Jr., Chairman of the Lumbee Tribe. And as you know, we've been doing work out here at the Lumbee Tribe Culture Center for months now on the uh, uh, Lake Dam that was damaged by Hurricane Matthew and Florence. And today I wanted you to meet uh, the construction company owners that have been doing this work. And let me tell you, they've done some fantastic work out here. Uh, I would encourage once we get this finished, anybody in your surrounding region, especially in Robinson County, come see how water can be managed and how you can protect our people from future flooding because they have done it. And also, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention uh, Dr. Frida Porter, who uh, started the initiation of uh, collaborating with FEMA and uh, Jewel Engineering, and then the contract was awarded to uh, Anson Construction Company, and they hired a bunch of subs that were Lumbee owned companies and, and employees to make this uh, a great collaboration. And there's a real history that goes with this. Uh, it goes all the way back to the 60s when the um, uh, Riverside Country Club was first uh, constructed. And as we may know, as you may know or may not know, you had some uh, uh, Lumbee men in the community, in the Prospect community and surrounding communities that came together and put their money together. And they wanted a country club for uh, Lumbee Indians where we could learn how to play golf, have our own uh, golf course, the pool, tennis courts, uh, venues, and then eventually uh, strike it and win where we're standing right now. I'm Devin Sykes, President and Project Manager at Anson Contractors. We're a uh, general contractor licensed in North and South Carolina, primarily focusing on site development, highway construction. We saw this project advertised in August of 2019 and elected to put in a bid proposal at that time, we were fortunate enough to be low bid and awarded the uh, contract from the Lundy uh, tribe. We started construction at the site in late November of 19. We've endured great uh, rains uh, throughout the whole project through the winter and early spring months. First came onto the site, there was clearing and erosion control to be done initially while we dewatered the pond in preparation for placing the or rebuilding the dam and placing the reinforced articulated block. Upon uh, starting the job here we met with a, a number of people here and uh, discovered that our fathers, my father and his two brothers who owned Sykes Brothers uh, uh, initially constructed the initial dam here and we were quite surprised to learn that you know we were, as a second generation and now a third generation, have uh, had the opportunity to work behind our parents. It, it's really been you know, quite interesting to learn and also find out that so many employees are still living that work with the initial company. Uh, we met a number of uh, fellows out here that uh, worked on this project at the beginning of it and then picked up and carried on with the company afterwards to do other projects. We're nearing completion of it and uh, really have enjoyed it immensely from that uh, standpoint. It's been a great project from the get-go, uh, great people to work with. Uh, everybody's been so appreciative of what we do and by that it, it wants us to do our very best. So we hope, uh, we hope everybody enjoys the taking advantage of it as much as we have enjoyed building it. Uh, it's just been, I can't say enough how it is to go behind your father and, and uh, do something that he's done first and then it lasted for 50, 60 years and here we are taking it on, it's still here and we're just making it better for another 50 or 60 years and that's, uh, that's a good feeling and, and uh, just so blessed to to have the opportunity to do this. My name is Cole Sykes and uh, it's been a pretty good pleasure to work with my family and you know just be around everybody and the people here. You know, it's pretty grateful to work under my family and be on the job my grandpa built. So it's, uh, it's an experience not many people my age get, in, get to do. So you know, I participated in building the dam and uh, you know, operating the equipment, you know, everything like that and pouring the concrete and setting the mats, you know, a lot of things that went on around here and 
Hi, I'm Amy Black, and when we first came on with the tribe, we were, I was with Jewel Engineering. That was the original contract back in 2017. And we'd worked um, with the tribe. They are just such great people to work with. I've really enjoyed getting to know the staff here. Um, we came up with the design. We were thought we were ready to go out to bid, and um, Florence came along and did additional damage, so we had to kind of go back to the drawing board. Um, damn safety kicked in with um, some additional stringent, more stringent requirements that caused us to go back and um, add some additional uh, items to the project that weren't originally planned. Um, so it took us a little longer to go back through and get all the, the permits re-permitted. Um, it's been uh, kind of a long journey to get here, but we finally were so excited we were able to go back to, out to bid. And when Anson came on, I've never worked with um, with these contractors before, but I can say without a doubt now that um, I would highly recommend them for anything. They've been so good to work with. Um, they're doing such a great job out here. I'm so excited that we're finally closing in on the last few pieces, and I can't wait to see this lake filled and to see what the property can be used for and how the community can enjoy using this property in the future. Along the way, I would like to point out that we're not dual engineering anymore. Um, Doug Jewell that founded our company, he has retired. And um, last year, my firm was um, acquired by LJB. So um, officially, this is an LJB project now. And so I just wanted to be able to represent our company. And I hope we're doing a good job to represent the tribe um, as we move through all of the regulatory processes and everything that it takes to get a dam constructed, permitted, and built and approved for, um, for use. As you can tell, this has been a great collaboration between Anson Construction Company and Jewel Engineering. And uh, we're just so thankful that God gave us this opportunity, uh, even in a pandemic, in the midst of a pandemic, and after two hurricanes, that the Olympia Tribe Culture Center will be better uh, than it was before. And what they built here is not just for five years from now or 10 years from now. This is for seven generations from now. So, They've really created a legacy. As you can tell, they got a family legacy, and they've created a continuous legacy for the Lumbee tribe. And the last person I'd like to introduce to you is Mr. Matt Lockler. He's been the Lumbee tribe uh, representative and project uh, representative out here for us and working with Drew and working with Anson. And he's done a phenomenal job, so we're so blessed to have him. And I'll turn it over to Matt and let him say a few words to the people. I'm Matt Locklear, project manager with the Lumbee Tribe uh, out here at the Quarter Center again. I just wanted to uh, thank Anson Contractors. Um, they definitely went the extra mile in making this project go smooth. I think because of the family connections and the family, the trust that they have once amongst another, they were able to get this project accomplished. There were people over their word when they told you they were going to do something, they did it and they stuck by what they promised to do and get things done. Also thank uh, Amy uh, with Jewel LJB. She's been uh, a great person to work with as well, uh, keeping everybody straight on uh, the engineering side of and the construction side of the project. Uh, it's been a great project to work with. I've learned a lot and um, I hope to, um, if I ever get a chance to work with any of them again, I, I, I would definitely take it. God bless you. God bless the Lumbee tribe. God bless America in these turbulent times we're in right now. But I just thought you'd like to hear some really good news today. Thank you.